So in the beginning, I knew I was going to do a head. Um, I think I knew that I was going to do female. Usually there's a distinction, um, but sometimes that distinction doesn't come until later in the drawing. Uh, and sometimes it never comes. Sometimes the figures end up being very androgynous, kind of look like male and female together. This one has a bit of both masculine and feminine kind of presence. The initial start of the drawing is I'm just trying to establish or create different, unique combinations of color while roughing in an overall structure that's going to eventually emerge as the face. I will start with the watercolor and then I'll let it dry. And then I'll come in with, I've been using pencil crayons and I start putting in some of the shadows, particularly the eyes underneath the nose and the lips. Those are like the, the three main points that I can I sort of focus uh, the structure on. I'm not trying to control it too much and I'm also just allowing for different lines to potentially determine what the structure of the face will be or determine maybe how the head will be tilted or looking. I'm also keeping it very loose in order to bring through different line expressions. With the watercolor in particular, if you're adding the water, the color starts to interact in interesting ways. And I'm just trying to explore effects with the materials. And that's why I love bringing mixed media together. It's fun. That's what I like about this. That's why I do it, because I enjoy it, because it's fun for me to see these expressions unfolding like right before my eyes. And I find it's interesting when things happen without me trying to like think about it and then do it, where it just kind of emerges naturally. The painting has a life of its own and it starts to come alive in that way. And so I like to create a world where that can exist. I appreciate everybody watching and um, thank you for, for being here.